George, I dig how you're always bringing some angle to something. I've, I've never, I've never like uh, talked to you about one of your vapes without you just dropping some angle on me that I never saw before that you've built into your vape forever. And, and it's, it's, uh, I love, I love the way you operate, man. The way how you just, you, you, you have layers of depth and it's, it's sometimes it's aesthetic, sometimes it's functional, doesn't matter to, to your engineering that, that what's really cool about it is you just kind of put the product out there and don't even talk about it. You just kind of, hey, we'll see if they notice. <laughs> and, and, and they're amazing products. And, and every time I, 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 I get to talk to you about vapes, uh, you, you show me another one that I didn't know you already had buried in your vapes. It's amazing. Man. He could probably, he could probably point out something on like the 2019 M that he hasn't. Oh, yet. that thing. You that know, thing. like I remember, I remember we talked, <laughs> yeah, we were talking about the, uh, the, the Nonavong or the Omni or something in, in the hotel room that one night. And you, you pointed out like three things that like had never been discussed in public about, about, like the the M or the Omni or, or whatever we were talking, and that was just, yeah, yeah, that was the nineteen M, I think. Uh, well, that was the Nanavong, but yeah, you want to see something about the the nineteen M that you haven't seen? Sure, like just to prove my point. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Right? Please do, brother. Bring it. <laughs> well, uh, so uh, you know, you guys know how I like nines and threes and odd numbers like that yes sir. so if, if you find the airport on an m and you just count the facets uh it's fun oh is that one of the colored ones troy yeah this is the rosium yeah. oh yeah, man on, rosium i love this rosium george no, george you, you, you count the rocker and <coughs> yeah you know, so you got you got the main one where the airport is there's two small ones to the side Right. Nine. There's nine. There's nine. Absolutely. So there's the nine. Yeah, oh, because nine. of the two little itty bitty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's is nine that, there. Is that why you added the two itty bitty ones, or does it actually make a difference in the feel? Well, it's, it's just a balance thing, right? So you okay. get one big one, two small ones, a few more kind of mid sized Mid- ones, and then you got the, the double rocker of uh, facets on the backside, which is just kind of fun. And if you look at the rocker, what you're going to notice, uh, if you look real carefully, especially to catch the light, there's machining marks that uh, make a butterfly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do make a butterfly. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can flip the camera around. Yeah, and... it's pretty. It's 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 slick. Oh, get the hell out of here! Man. <clears throat> I remember. I remember uh, when I dope. when I went down to the headquarters and and I was, uh, we we were looking at this and I'm like, George, why do, why do you have these things here? And and you're just like Focusing. put it behind your back and then tell me what you think. <laughs> and I put it behind my back and it just instantly you can feel where the carb was. And no, it's, it's such an important thing not. about uh, you know the devices that we have. I think uh, a lot of the people that are engaged in device design they tend to get so caught up in terms of the function and uh, the way that they look the tactile side of things tends to get left behind. And I think it's such a really, really important aspect. So uh, we've really tried to engineer uh, the, the tactile side into our devices so that once you become familiar with it, that you can touch this thing and without even looking at it, you know its orientation, both in terms of rotation and in terms of where the hot end is, where the hot end isn't, where the mouthpiece is. And it's just such a fun thing to close your eyes and just become familiar with the device. I bet Vitolo loves it. <laughs> what, you count, what do you, what do you count? You count the right little now? alligator, the little uh, bins in the row. Seems like that's a nine as well. Oh, there, there's all kinds of fun things buried in there, Troy. It has there, a- there's nine little dots in each row on the on the. Yeah. Bin. And there's nine rings. Is there nine rings? And the tip. Some yeah. bitch. Look at all those nines. Yeah, tons of nines. And and you've you've done your your three is balanced with two and one also in a couple of places. This is dope, man. It's dope. Yeah, we got five fins. We got three O rings. We, we were just talking about this last night, George, about about how you like to do threes and nines. And yeah. Numbers all the way up to like twenty seven or something. You said, Jerry. 
first. Yeah, I said the night that I was hanging with him uh, in in Vegas, and we we were hanging, and we were he was he was showing me all these things. I'm like, damn it! And what what, what flipped me out is that I've got this weird thing with threes and nines. And when George and I were talking about his design, I was drawn to it without even realizing it because there's all these threes and nines built in. And when he started showing them to me, I was I was amazed. But then what flipped me out is is that he was taking it to like like at nine. That's pretty. That's there's a lot going on when you're going to nine. But then he was going to like twenty seven. I was like twenty seven. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> George, just, are you into pyramids? Pyramidology? Oh, oh I, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested. I don't know if I should uh, delve into that at this point. I, I want to save that for next time. Oh, oh next time. Next time. George, I keep, I keep, you never answer my question, but I think there's magic in that tip, man. The M tip is great. Oh, why do you think we put M's on them? Because <laughs> uh, they D's didn't work. I don't know what, because it's an M. Because it's an M. There you go. I caught up. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asleep yet. <laughs> That's talking about your D not working. Well, it's because it is an M tip. But I was like, in my head, I'm thinking Dynavap, there's no M's in there. So what's this dude talking about? <laughs> it took me about 10 seconds to catch up, but I did because I'm not asleep yet. So M for magic. I'm, M for magic. So you got well, I guess it depends. You know, if you put it in your other hand and you roll it the other direction, they look like W's. For... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there's about... been so many mind blowing moments. How about threes, man? It's George's three. That's Why the fuck? Bro, th You're there is three M's on, on the tip, bro. you know. One. Yeah, I remember counting those. You're right. Three of those. Three three cuts. And then uh, there, but they, you, you could say instead of M's, they're threes too, if you want, George. So you could even mm -hmm. go that route, man. That's oh, absolutely. Or they could be E's for, you know, just eccentric. 